What's up everybody? It's your boy Coke Gotti coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're gonna get my predictions for week six games. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button for me real quick. Starting off, we got the 14 ranked Iowa Hawkeyes going on the road to play 19 ranked Michigan Wolverines. This is a big matchup in the Big Ten. Michigan's already dropped a conference game. They just lost to Wisconsin, which I predicted <clears throat> in preseason that they would do. Iowa undefeated right now. Trying to stay strong, stay in the race for their uh, their division. Make it to the Big Ten Championship. Maybe make the playoffs. Who knows? But I'm picking Michigan to win this game. I know Michigan's had its struggles at the beginning of the season so far. A lot of people are saying they're overhyped, which they probably are. They've been overhyped. Our world's overhyped regardless. But they're at the house. They have more offensive power than Iowa, even though Iowa always plays great defense. I don't know what it is, but they just they just play great defense over there. I'm going to take Michigan to win this game. I think it'll be a close game, an ugly game. But I got Michigan walking away with the win. And we have TCU going to play Iowa State. <clears throat> Iowa State has not lived up to my predictions for them this season so far. They just lost last week to Baylor. I wasn't expecting that, but this week I'm picking TCU to beat them. I think I've given up, given up my share of Iowa State hype this year. It's over with for them, in my opinion. I mean, they'll get some more wins throughout the season, but I can't hype them up no more. They've they've let me down. They're not who I thought they was. Then. The big matchup of the week, top 10 matchup, number seven Auburn going into the swamp to play the number 10 Florida Gators. Auburn starting the season off, true freshman quarterback, Bo Nix. <clears throat> I pre pre predicted he would be good. I didn't think he would, him and Auburn would be this good this early on, but they are, that defense is legit. I knew that defense was going to be legit, especially that front seven. Florida, on the other hand, they're undefeated. I mean, they're overcoming the odds. You know, Franks goes out. C.J. Henderson goes out. They're still winning games. But I don't got them winning this one. I think Auburn comes in here. I think Auburn wins big. I don't think it'll be close. I think Auburn's going to... It might be a close first quarter, second quarter, but I think Auburn's going to manhandle them and win by two, three scores. Then we have Virginia Tech against Miami. Both teams 2-2. Two and two. Both teams are trying to bounce back from a shaky start of the season and make a run for their division. I'm going to pick Miami. I like their quarterback. Their defense is definitely legit. Their problem is not on the defense at all. It's all on the offense, mainly the offensive line, because I feel like if that quarterback had time to throw back there, he'd be able to make some real plays. But Virginia Tech, on the other hand, I don't know what's been going on with them. I mean, they lost their quarterback. He transferred to Maryland, and they started off the season looking fucking phenomenal. But Bud Foster, I don't know what he's been doing with that defense in Virginia Tech. You know, I, I respect him regardless because he always keeps a good defense. But these last couple of years, that defense has not been looking the same. Maybe it was Beamer all along. Who knows? But I'm picking Miami to win this game. Then we have number 11, Texas. Going up to Morgantown to play West Virginia. West Virginia is 3-1 and one so far in the season. They've started to look better since their first two weeks of the season. <clears throat> I'm going to take Texas, though. It's going to be hard for me to take West Virginia over Texas. First off, it's a new coach over there in West Virginia. That coach got to prove to me that he can win in the Big 12. I don't care what you did in no group of five conference or none of that. None of that matters. Just like if you coaching in the Pac-12, that don't mean, and you, you could be dominant in the Pac-12. That don't mean you're going to be dominant anywhere else. All right? Texas, though, they've got the players, they've got the coach, and I mean, 
they've been doing the damn thing, you know. They lost to LSU in a shootout. That's cool. That doesn't hurt them at all. They could win out the rest of the season, win the Big 12, and still make the playoffs. I got Texas beating West Virginia. I actually got them beating West Virginia by two scores. Double-digit win. And we got good old Baylor. Good old Baylor. Baylor undefeated. Going on the road to play Kansas State, which Kansas State just got their first loss. Now, to be quite honest, I don't really know too much about what Baylor's got going on, except for the fact that they're undefeated. But Kansas State being at the house, coming off of a loss, their first loss of the season, I'm predicting Kansas State's going to bounce back in this game and get the W. So I got Kansas State beating Baylor, giving Baylor their first loss. Then we got Illinois going on the road to play Minnesota Golden Gophers. That's another team that's surprisingly undefeated, Minnesota. But they haven't played nobody yet. You know, they still got bigger games on their schedule. They still got a Wisconsin to play. They still got an Iowa to play. They still got a Nebraska to play. I got Minnesota beating Illinois, going 5-0, and and jumping up in the rankings, surprisingly. Then we got Arizona going to play Colorado. Both teams are just one-loss teams, I believe. <clears throat> Colorado's been playing some good ball. Arizona, I don't know. I'm not sold on Arizona, really. I'm going to have to take Colorado in this game. Colorado's proven that they can win in the Pac-12. Colorado, I can definitely see making a run for their division. And it starts with this game right here. Then we got number 25, Michigan State. Going on the road to play number four, Ohio State. This, my friends, is going to be an ugly game, I believe. I think Ohio State is going to Blow Michigan State out from start to finish. Easily just like that. Then we have Cal, who just got their first loss last week, going on the road to play Oregon. Oregon's been on a win streak since the opening game against Auburn. Oregon's ranked 13th right now. I'm picking Oregon to win the game. I had Oregon going undefeated throughout the season. In my preseason predictions, that's obviously wrong. But... I still got them running through the Pac-12. Their toughest challenge will be Washington, which will be coming up soon. I don't see them losing this game. Then we have number 15, Washington. Going on to role play Stanford. Stanford's not where it's at. I said it at the beginning of the season. Stanford was not going to have a good year. They'll be lucky to get 6-6. Six and six. Washington's already got a loss. They lost to Cal, which was not expected at all. But I got Washington winning this game. Jacob Eason's looking really good over there for Washington. Offense is moving good. It's the Pac-12. They don't have defense. And Stanford's offense is nothing like it was in previous years. I got Washington winning this game. That's my predictions for week six. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll go through the week. Uh, we'll go through the recap once the weekend's over with. And I got my midseason report cards coming out soon. It's your boy, Cole Gotti. And I'm out.